In this episode, we're going to be talking about five common reasons kung bakit yung mga nurses or OFWs are leaving the UK. Fourth reason natin, Mami. Parang yung mga Briton ay medyo private sila. Parang too reserved. Yeah. Parang di sila masyado nakikipag-associate. Which is, ang mga Pinoy is very sociable. So, like, gusto nila yung makipag-bonding uh, palagi para happy. Di ba mm. nga, ano, more on video kay sila pag may celebration. Yung mga Briton, hindi sila ganun ka, ano, sociable. Very yeah. festive yung mga Pilipino. Very celebratory. Mm-hmm. Very sociable. Very lively, di ba? And, and then, they did not expect that British people... Kasi ito, it's maski, ito, baka first time yung marinig no, na reason na some, a fact. First time that you hear it from somebody else. But you, I'm sure, sa mga nandito na sa UK na naririnig or na, na witness nila to, na yung mga British people, they're not a very happy bunch of people. They are not mad people. They are not grumpy people. But it's just that they are like this. The Filipinos, in terms of happiness, are like this to the roof. British people are like this. And then grumpy people are like this. They are not grumpy. They are not sad. It's just the way how they live. And some Filipinos, some people, even my friends from Europe, they found English people to be a bit too, too serious. Yeah, I think that's the term, no? Okay, serious. Medyo mga tao, eh. They're kind. They're very kind. But when you do, when you go to gatherings with them, they don't eat a lot. They don't serve a lot of food. Even taking pictures nga, eh, during yeah. I know, eating. Or... Yeah, they yeah. don't take lots of photos. Sa Pilipino, sa mga Pilipino, makita mo, picture-picture lagi. Hindi mo wawala. Minsan bago pa kumain, may picture. Mas, maski pagkain, may picture. Yung mga British people, they are quite reserved. Um, kagaya siya sabi natin, ni walang photo. And they don't, yung tawa nila, hindi ganun ka, <laughs> ka-expressive. Ang, na, ang naisip ko lagi dito kasi dito sa UK, ang laki ng influensya ng monarchy, ng royal family. Yung mga tao dito, parang tingin, tingin ko lang ano, pakiramdam nila, they need to apply the same lifestyle in their lives na seryoso, na prim and proper. <laughs> ano mo yun? Na hindi pwedeng tumawa ng mm, walwal or hindi <laughs> walwal eh. Nang very bold. Ano mo yun? So, they feel, siguro, ganun na talaga. Nasa, nasa buhay na nila, napakalaking parte ng buhay ng mga Briton ang kanilang uh, royal family. So, siguro pakiramdam ng iba, extension sila ng royal family sa <laughs> kung saan sila lang tira. Mga serious na parang ibang 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 klase sila, ibang level. Yun yung assessment namin. Uh, this is not a judgment. That's an assessment. Obserbasyon namin sa mga tao. So, it doesn't match the lifestyle, the, char- the character, the personality of many Filipinos. That's why some people can find this place a little sad because mm-hmm. They are surrounded by those kind of people, even at work. Uh, so I don't, we don't, we cannot blame those people for leaving the UK for such reason. Maybe money is. Some of them will just go back to the Philippines. They don't necessarily will have to go to different country, because money is not the most important thing for them. Maybe for them, the most important thing is yung magkaroon ng buhay, nakapaligiran, magandang kas kasamahan, komunidad. But unfortunately, you cannot always easily find that here in the UK. And that's the sad reality of it. And lastly, so we're going to make this episode really short. Lastly, one of the reasons kung bakit yung mga Pilipino yung maris ng UK is dahil sa distance, distance. location. Nito, no? <laughs> so, ano masasabi mo sa punto na yan, mami? Ikaw muna. Yeah, naalala ko nung umuwi tayo, yun, la- mahal ng ticket. Nabot tayo ng 3,400 pounds para sa ating family. Di ba? Napakamahal. Tatlong seats so, lang yun. Ah. Yeah, kasi sikat niya sa lap lang siya eh. So, ayun, dahil malayo nga, mahirap umuwi kasi mahal ang ticket. Though minsan nakakakuha naman ng mga nakasale na ticket, pero mm. bihira yun. Mm. Kaya sabi mo dito sa UK, meron kaming 7 weeks, 8 weeks of annual leave 
you know, pwedeng magamit. It's the expenses as well and also the time. If you compare sa mga, so let's say, nasa Australia ka, yun na. Or US, even US, I think shorter travel time eh. They will, they will just fly to Japan. I mean, aakit ng globo. Tapos, babalik sa Pilipinas, di ba? So, medyo mas mabilis yung trip. And what if you just have one weekend off? Uh, kung malapit ka lang sa Pilipinas at may one week ka, madaling umuwi kasi kung yung travel time mo from Australia is only four hours, five hours, then within the day, you're back home to your family. Unlike here, abutin ka isang araw. Unlike here, <laughs> yung pakiramdam na parang dalawang araw kang nag-travel, lalo na pagpapunta ka ng Pilipinas kasi kasalubong mo yung araw. <laughs> so, hindi sulit. Ano? So, parang kung meron kang annual leave na three, three weeks, let's say, we always go for a month. But if say, meron kang three weeks, parang kalahating linggo, travel mo na yun, going back and forth. So, yun pa lang, di ba? But unlike nasa Australia ka, kung may one week ka, yun, in terms of time, mabilis. But in terms of the expenses, kung may one week ka, at galing ka ng UK, magbabayad ka ba ng 1,500, 1,000, or 1,200? Ganun natin, may nanawasan libo ngayon, no? Mm-hmm. Para lang one, sa one week three, na pag-uwi mo. Yeah. Hindi, di ba? So, expensive. So, mag- ready ka, happy ka magbayad ng 1,500, 1,300 if you will be to, in the Philippines for at least three weeks, two weeks. So, yun yung siguro isa sa mga reason. Not, again, not for all, not for everyone. That is one of the um, outstanding reasons for some small group of people why they will move somewhere else outside the UK. And then siguro, yun yung main reason kung bakit sila alis. And then masusupplement na lang yun nung weather, nung gastos, and all that stuff. So, especially pag nasa Australia ka, mm. lalo na parang ganun din ata karami yung live nila doon, no? Dito sa UK kung ikukumbara. Tsaka short lang yung ano doon, no? Travel. Exactly. Like six, seven hours pa. I don't know. I, I'm sure not less, a lot less than that. I think four, five hours. So, even for a week, you pay, let's say you pay 300. Uh, ganun lang kaya pumasahin. I don't know. Na. <laughs> 400, 400 pounds. Uh, nasa magkana yun. <clears throat> 28,000 pesos. Why not? We can have Pilipinas for a week, mm. for two weeks, 28,000. I'll, I'll do that every every year, every or every six months, or every three months. So, kasi makita, makita mo pamilya mo, ibang-ibang ano yun, walang yeah. patumbas yun yun. No? Uh, share lang ni Mami yung kanyang <laughs> merch, Filipinas. Filipinas. We will make this available to you soon. We are just uh, finishing the store. And if you want one, um, let me know what your thought, what your what is your thought about the design, Filipinas. <laughs> Um, do you like the design? If you do, um, you can have one, have your own. You can come in different colors of hoodie. This one is navy. Navy. And this is in cooperation with Positivo clothing. But <laughs> not everyone will have the Positivo branding because it's a bit mahal. <laughs> so, meron ka rin dito sa kabila, yeah, no? Filipinas. But usually, ito lang yung pwede mabili. Uh, but if you want the Positivo edition, uh, medyo pricey lang siya. Pakita mo yung likod mo, ma'am. You wanna stand up? <laughs> no, you can stand up if you want. Kasi, okay din din. Yeah, so, very good quality build them. But yeah, we'll make it available. We'll share the link in the future. And if you're watching this video on Delicious Life, a section or a part of it, a chunk of it, and you want to watch the whole episode, go to the coffee break. We will put the link in the at the end of this video and also in the description below. And feel free to subscribe to the channel para makasama ka namin sa susunod namin kwentuhan. Again, this is Jace. And I'm Marie. And don't forget to have a break have a coffee, have a coffee break, and feel positive. See you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Bye! <laughs>